ambitious and motivated are words that describe you best. Then you're on the right place. This is Motivational Radio Friends from Paris with your host, Longi Echoha. My name is Obodo Sam Davis. I'm from Enugu States. Okay. Nigeria. Yeah. To be precisely in Kanadoka government, Awan. So how did the Nigerian dream come about? Nigerian dream come about with a good, a collected good mind of young men, which already you have, you have, you have spoken with the president of the Nigerian Green. Yeah. And they started the Scalvania uh, area in 2011. Mm-hmm. Since then, just as a group, the tango today we are moving to a... So you're going to a new level? We are climbing a new step to a new level. Okay, so what is the vision all about? Because I, I'd like to understand the core message. What is the vision? What... The vision is not far-fetched. The vision is that uh, actually, let me not go through in details over it. Uh, kind of specific. Giving you the, giving you the insights. Okay. Uh, one is that we have the general intention of bringing the, our people, when I say our people, I mean Africans, people with positive mind, to understand that life is not only a sense of receiving. Life is not only living with ideas that the oppressors must always command you on what to do. That we are born with equal rights, equal opportunity, that God-given potential of our own self made to the world to understand, to see so that we all can work together and achieve our goal because of the kind of leadership and the kind of people we have at home and other places in Africa who call themselves leaders that have failed us for so long. So we are all with the same intention and motive of achieving such goal. Okay, so that is the, that's the core message, the core thing. that, And you have the dream that... Through your magazine, you will get that objective. Yes, we strongly hope so. We strongly hope so because the, the extent of the magazine now, we are expanding it in such a way that it will go to all hoops and corners of the continent and even above the boundaries of the uh, continent. So it will go very viral by his grace because uh, in God we trust also that uh, our, uh, the intentions of our mind will come to a reality. I guess, yeah, because the fact that I saw it on, on the internet proves the dream, isn't it? <laughs> it proves yeah. that yes, if it were not the internet, I would not have seen that. I would not know what Nigerian dream is all about. But thank God today, I have. I have seen, seen it. And I have gone through the magazine itself, and I've seen the quality of what you do, which is really very, very high. It's very, very good. Yeah, really, I, I understand that because uh, when I looked at it and saw the magazine, because I have a friend also who, who prints magazine and I know the, the work and the job he does to make the, the magazine come out online. It's really very, very, it's very, very, t- it's very yeah. challenging. Yeah, it's very challenging. You have to get the text. You have to get the, all the articles combine them, you know, we read and all the rest. So it's not a very, very easy job. So I know exactly what you're, you're trying to, what you're doing. So uh, it's really very huge. But anyway, you have the determination, like uh, your president said, it's all about yeah. determination. So how determined are you? I think we are, we, 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 we are in a very high spirit. Spirit is high. We have come over here and we discovered a lot of differences. The difference is here. Mm-hmm. You can even equally imagine it from where you are right now. So we are highly determined that uh, at the end of the day, we time that a lot of positive uh, impacts will be laid on our people in their mind. Mm-hmm. We grow like a, a crop. They, they will start having sense of uh, belonging, sense of ownership mm-hmm. to what belongs to them. Because the resources and whatever that belongs to a nation is for the whole entire indigenous. Mm-hmm. Not meant only for the uh, selected ones that have been recycling themselves all this while. Okay. So it- we, we are in a high spirit that uh, things will get better in a very, mm-hmm. very soon. Okay. Now, the, the, what, what is intriguing to me a little bit is the fact that magazine 
is for, in quotes, intellectuals, those who can read, right? Yeah. Now, how do you take care of those who cannot read? You see, when you talk about uh, those who can read and those who cannot read, we are not so, we don't have that high level of uh, illiteracy. Well, the only thing you can talk about, for example, in uh, social networks, mm -hmm. you see people writing in their uh, ethnic language. Mm -hmm trying to communicate to those who will understand the language, and you see people writing in different form, even in broken English. Mm -hmm. That's a sense of communication. Sure. But equally, on those who cannot read and write, because we still have intention of expanding this thing to another level, mm -hmm. level of communication as regard to television stations and other things, but it is on a gradual process. Sure. It's one step after the other. Right. So when we get there, we'll be able to speak to people in a different way, whereby if you cannot read and you are not deaf, you will be able to understand one or two things. Okay. That, uh, you, you have just answered what my, my demand, what I wanted to know, because yes, you, if you, if you are writing a magazine, it is geared towards 50% of Nigerians or 60%. And there are 40% who cannot read and write. They're in the picture, right? Yeah, they're in the picture. <laughs> and one, one thing you should understand is this. Most of the information that we get may be down to uh, rural areas. Mm -hmm. uh, they call this information from those who we are able to read. Okay. When they were discussing maybe in the hamlet market, hamlets and stuff like that, mm -hmm. all these informations as regard to the daily affairs and activities of the uh, nation, mm -hmm. they will discuss it in their local way. So the most important thing is getting it already to the to those who can read, mm -hmm. and the those who cannot read can always get extract it out from those that have read the. The magazine and okay. information right away. It's like a boomerang, you know. It, it, it touches one person and then goes go, goes then goes around. It goes around. Okay, that's it. targeting first of all those who can read, and then uh, the the boomerang effect will go continue to go to other people and those who exactly. cannot do it. Right. So I, I like I did ask the president: Is it magazine for Nigerians, Africans, or for Black people, or for anybody in the world? <laughs> I, I, I actually understand where you're heading to because uh, for the fact that you said Nigerian dream, isn't it? It is. Because it's in, 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 in communication, in communication, yeah. uh, because I, 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 I teach communication every time. And uh, when you say Nigerian dream, it makes it, it localizes the whole thing, okay. right? Uh, so uh, you uh, need a lot of explanation to tell the, or to, to make to the world to say that this is not uniquely Nigerian. It is, the world, the, or the African, or whatever. Okay. Uh, so, how would you, how do you, um, how do you conquer this obstacle, if I may say so? Okay. Uh, that's a very good one. And, uh, I think, uh, any right thinking person will always ask this question. Right. Is this man's own, meant only for Nigerians? Okay. Yeah, that's, yes. that's right. Okay. Well, the, the answer is this. This is not meant for Nigeria. Neither is it meant for Africans. Mm -hmm. It is meant for the whole world. Okay. That's why we are talking about having correspondence in all nooks and corners of the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, one thing is very clear. That we call it Nigerian dream. At the initial, st at the initial stage, is Nigeria is the most popular African nation uh, or country all over the world. For the, for this fact, and Nigeria stands like a model in the continent. Mm -hmm. So anything Nigerian dream is just like African dream. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. you, you understand me? Right. And any African dream as a continent touches other parts of the world. You go to any black, you go to America, you have black Americans. You go to South America, you have South and black. Uh, so, uh, almost uh, all over part of the world, you see blacks. And the Nigerian, we want to give them sense of belonging, whatever mm. they are, to be proud of whom they are. If we can excel, we are all proud when Obama became the president of uh, America. I'm a Nigerian. He's an American. You understand me? Mm -hmm. But all Africans, all blacks, we are proud of whatever they are, irrespective of the country where he, 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 uh, he's taking the position, he's sitting as the president, as their president. Okay. So, Africa, Nigerian dream is 
going with so vast. It's not meant for Nigeria alone, and it's not meant for Africa. If you go through the, our contacts now, you will see that a lot of people that have been registering, you know, signing up in our, all of them are not Nigerian, neither are they Africa. Mm -hmm. They come from different parts of the world, which means it's more open to everybody. Right. Okay. So that's it. The, the, the name Nigerian encompasses anything black. That's it. Yes. Okay. Yes. To give them their ego. They are proud. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. That, that's it. So, you are, you're in the world, you are saying that Nigeria is a source. But you know it. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so we need, <laughs> we need to fly the flag, right? <laughs> we need to fly a flag. I think that's very audacious, you know, it's very audacious because of the fact that, yes, you, in spite of that, you, you will believe that it will work. You know, it's, it's going to happen. In, in spite of the name, you know, because it, it could have been easier if you say it's an African dream. I mean, it's encompassing everything African, right? But since it's localized, in spite of that locality, you still believe that it can, you know, it can, it, it, it can have, well. it has a, a global well. brand. Exactly. It's well. This podcast was brought to you by the Motivational Radio France with their host, Lonjago and Barris.